Hey, today we'll go over these Smash Bros. More Smash Bros. weeks. So we have two weeks going for you because they're both basically mostly the same. But yep, this is the supposed Smash Ultimate week. Of course, no one, these weeks can't predict what Sakurai does, okay? You know, nobody predicted Steve. Nobody predicted Sephiroth appearing in Smash Bros. And now we have like these two weeks. Like, for example, you know, let's go, go back to Bioth. That one guy who leaked Bioth said that Crash was going to be Fire Fire 7. It was Min Min. One of the most disappointing characters to be added to Smash Bros. But still disappointing. Min Min was still a disappointing pick. I think all of us know it is. It's like, really, ARMS, Nintendo? A series, a dead franchise, basically? And then we had, you know, Steve. The old predicted Steve. There were a few weeks that did. But, yeah. There were many weeks that predicted Steve. But the old not many predicted him as Fighter 7. And, you know, so this is a post from October 6th. Right after Steve presentation. Yes, from 510. Figure out what you will. But probably that's a monkey on a typewriter. You know, these are, these are probably that's, you know... Again, these were you know these kept these lists are part of the fucking guesses at the most. Most of these weeks are just guesses. So not really Sony reps, but Sephiroth and Crash are coming. The remaining two reps are Rainbow, which will probably never happen because we because I don't think anybody, not even Smash Bros. knows what Rainbow is. Only f Rainbow is another one of those four chan characters and Coach Bros from Xeno Saga. The one up is very aggressive, it won't be pretty. Unfortunately, there won't be, yeah, this is the thing I you know, I find is fake. It's, there won't be any promotions for me costumes. Really? No promotions for me costumes? You're telling me Nintendo is done with me costumes at the Steve? Yeah, that's totally a bunch of bull crap right there, okay? That's a bunch of bull crap. There's going to be me costumes for the next KOF4 characters. That statement alone makes this week fake, because they're not going to abandon me costumes. So, yeah. Now I can go to the next week. And this was leaked by Reddit a year ago. So here it is. Smash Week. Scurry explains the true villain after the first five DLC. Loser reveal 96%. And this kills us the part of the first five DLC. Sephiroth. And yep, we have this horn tag here. His horn tail moveset here. And taunts as well. And stuff here. And yep, this was pretty legit. So this guy predicted it though a year ago. You know, again, I don't believe in that, you know, 5 sand week. That 5 sand week is probably fake. Like, it, like, you know, 5 times like the Japanese version of 4 chan. You know, it's probably fake. You know, most of these 4 chan weeks and 5 chan weeks, they're mostly just like lucky guesses. You know, lucky guesses. You know, you know, they're not really, you know, again, I don't think anyone could predict the whole. The only person to ever accurately predict the whole Smash Bros. roster nearly was Virgil Ben. And he's not a lot. He's not that. He not, doesn't really do weeks anymore as well. So, there we go. That's basically it about this past week, these past weeks. Goodbye.